Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome back, darlings. Nice to have you join me. Gemini. Gemini. We're going to the dragon by Nigel Sapling. The dragon. Gemini. Cards have been dealt, shuffled. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Gemini. What do we got happening for you? Huh. Okay. You think about it all the time. All the time. And what do you think about? You think about going and taking an offer to your person. You think about your person all the time. You think about wanting to take that gift with the Knight of Pentacles. Wanting to take that gift to them. Wanting to even a gift of the tongue, compliment. But there's something that stops you. With the moon card and the hanging man, there's something that stops you. And you know, you know that there's something that you don't see. And so with the hanging man, you look at it in all different ways. You're trying to look at it in all different ways. But you get this knowing, this intuition that tells you that you're just not seeing things the way you should be seeing them. Well, all right. All right. Now with the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands, you're waiting for somebody here. Gemini. This person, this is a good person. Your person. The person that you're waiting for is a good person. It's somebody that takes care of things. You know that If it's a woman, it's somebody that will cook and clean and, and take care of the home and children and very loving, almost like a hockey mom kind of thing. If, it, if it's a guy, if it's a man, it, it's someone who is very good at supporting the family and even the kind of guy that helps out around the house, you know? Just all over good people. But both can have a temper. Both can have a tongue that can be sharp. What I got here is you wait for your person who is all these things. Let's keep going. With the four of wands, you might have been married or you might have lived together. And the six of cups is a soulmate. So someone that you were married to or someone that you lived together with at one time. is a soulmate connection. Somebody that you want to come and talk to you. Someone from the past. Someone to bring back conversation. The Hierophant and the Hermit, you know what, the conversations here might have been like, holy crap, they might have been intense. You two might have had conversations that were very intense. With the Hermit and the Hierophant together, side by side, the Hierophant, yes, indeed you do. The conversations here must have been very, very deep. 
like actually pouring out your souls to each other. Very deep conversations. Now they don't have to be spiritual, although a lot of people think they have to be spiritual, they don't. They could have been conversations that just talk about your childhood and any kind of hurt and pain or suffering that you might have gone through. But things that you paired each other sold about. Definitely your soulmate. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Holy crap. With the Eight of Swords. Whoa. So things went from burying each other's souls to feeling pretty damn bad. Um, you know, you look at this person as... Well, they carry your soul. Gemini, that's how you look at the person. Is that they carry your soul. They carry your energy. And you care for them very, very much. You think they're beautiful. You think they're handsome. There is none other like them. With the Ten of Wands, it's some kind of ending and with the eight of swords feeling trapped something happened here either somebody said something or did something but there was an ending to this and then came some sort of entrapment i can't move i can't move i'm stuck And then the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. This is some sort of knowing that you have. The High Priestess is the knower's secrets. The High Priestess is very wise, filled with wisdom. The High Priestess or High Priest is Someone who is magical, someone mysterious, someone who has a lot of intuition. And with the Ace of Cups, yep, with the Ace of Cups, this is my cup runs over. So there could be using some sort of intuition or some sort of a spiritual practice to bring forth a brand new love, either with a person from the past or someone new, but to bring forth blessing. person obviously younger than you and they're very guarded with the page of pentacles and the seven of wands and the king of cups king neptune himself coming up out of the sea a lot of emotion there's guarding there's emotion there's a younger person but when it comes to your emotions I don't know what happened with you two, Gemini, but when it comes to you bringing forth a cup or offering a cup or offering love, there's a lot of defensive energy here. I don't know what happened, but as someone who's very much on guard about accepting your love, With the Ten of Swords, it says that a painful ending may be coming in. And the Three of Wands, waiting for a new ship. Well, what a damn shame. 
And it is. It's a damn shame. But apparently it shows some sort of an ending because this your person refuses to accept your cup again. And they feel defensive against you. And it looks like a painful ending. And waiting for another shift to come in. And it's a shame because I can see here that the two of you shared each other's soul. You shared each other's innermost secrets. And it, it was really good. And it was a soulmate connection. For sure. <laughs> what a shame that this ended. And that it is ending. What a shame. Because I do have that two of you were soulmates. And that you were lovers. Gemini card. That you were lovers. And that you just, you both truly loved each other. And when I see the Queen of Swords, someone's making a judgment call. And that judgment call is to put an end to it, is what I have. Putting an end to it. And there's something about a three here that we won't even go into. But um, it's a shame. Because you two were a lot here together. Sagittarius, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Pisces, big hair, Pisces, Gemini connection. Again, with the High Priestess, we have Pisces, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, uh, Libra, and Gemini. Gemini, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Namaste.